Hi everyone. So real quick, I wanted to film this video because I noticed that I have two months without filming and I'm going to tell you guys why. First off, I had surgery November 16th and it was the most scariest experience I've ever had to deal with. And yes, so I took two weeks from like to recuperate. And then with those two weeks, I didn't want to film because I was on medication and I honestly looked like not myself. So I'm like, I do not want to film. And then I kind of, what else happened? I think um, the holidays, being alone since I'm a single mom, it was really hard. And then I'm like, I don't feel like filming because I'm sad. So um two months and i'm back <laughs> so yeah so um i want to tell you guys about the sur surgery it was really hard to have that i went by myself um, my friend drove me there and waking up from the anesthesia and realizing that there was nobody there next to you was very hard um and scary because i didn't know what to expect being under general anesthesia for the very first time the doctors didn't really tell me what to expect since it was really last minute and then um yeah so i had surgery for my hernia in my belly button and it's no longer there i've had to wear a corset to support my stomach and i can't lift heavy things so i barely started exercising and i can't do crunches because they it hurts my stomach so I want a flat stomach so that's my goal to eventually exercise so that I mean work on my stomach so yeah anyway um when I had surgery the first day I went home I felt like I did 100 sit-ups and I was really sore and I was not able to get the medication prescribed which was narco and due to the pharmacy not having it and the nurse told me just to take Tylenol extra strength but honestly I tried and that did not do anything for me I was in pain I couldn't even get up I needed help I couldn't even walk it was really bad it was hard to breathe it was hard to laugh and um, yeah so when I finally eventually did get narco it was two days after the surgery and it was so painful and I was talking to the nurse at the hospital over the phone and she was saying like there's basically a war on on opiates that with people who actually need it um, because I called a different pharmacies and they didn't want to tell me if they were available over the phone and I couldn't really drive because I was like in pain and it was really bad but I survived and at home, it, it was really hard because I literally worked the day before and then I had surgery. And I did not even have my laundry all like clean. Um, my house was not, like it was kind of messy. And I didn't even have like food storage. So note to people who have surgery, take a couple of days off so that you can plan that and you won't be like me. Um, and then for James, he's one. Luckily, I was blessed to have his grandparents have him spend the night at his house. And I was still breastfeeding, so that was also hard. Because I'm like, no, I can't breastfeed him because I'm on um, on nar narco. And it was, you know, obviously it transmit in the, transmits in the breast milk. So I didn't breastfeed him during that time. And I couldn't even carry him. <sighs> so hard. But after those two weeks, I started to carry him and then I resumed breastfeeding. But then I realized that I should just stop. So I would breastfeed him a little bit. I would pump my milk within those two weeks that I was taking medication. And yeah, like that's how I did it. And eventually, little by little, I started feeling better and resuming normal activities. So yes that's my little story and i wanted to let you guys know and then also i am so excited to announce that i have a new job and i'm going to start february 7th 
so I'm really happy the way this year is going and if all goes well my goal is to fix my credit so I can get my house I can get the house under my name because I'm currently staying at my mom's house and it's not under my name yet but it will be and this year that's what's gonna happen and I'm gonna get a better car because I have this car but I want a bigger car and yeah so good things will come this year and I'm very grateful for everyone in my life for my kids life for my health and I'm doing it even though I am a single mom and it's hard but I'm doing it and I just want to thank God and everyone that's in my life and for the struggles and everything that I've encountered to get me to where I am and I just want to say always keep a positive mindset never give up hope and have faith in what you do and yes so that's a little bit of what I wanted to say so thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for my next video